My name is Tori Ward. I'm a professional pilot and a defense contractor. Flying uh, is something I've had a passion with since a, a very early age of about five years old. Started with uh, plastic models, went to wooden models that I was putting together, and eventually into uh, remote control and radio control models. And uh, from there, I always dreamed about being a pilot and uh, flying a, a real airplane someday of my own. So I took that challenge and was able to do that uh, at an age of 13 and uh, stuck with it and have been flying ever since. Well, when somebody first told me that I would have an opportunity to race an airplane, I was excited right from the get-go. I've been a long time uh, fan of air racing with other air race ventures. And when I finally had the opportunity to be involved with myself, then I knew, hey, this is, this is it for me. I was excited. You know, another good thing about this is that uh, with the other pilots, we have a great camaraderie with each other. We've flown with each other at times in the past. Uh, we know um, each other's airplanes, each other's likes and dislikes. So when we get together and we talk before a race or after the race, we kind of are able to brief and debrief with each other to kind of feel what the other pilot was experiencing and share those experiences with each other. It's fair to say that this aircraft is the dragster of the competition because uh, of its power. Uh, I carry around a lot more horsepower than the other aircraft, but uh, with the weight, it doesn't make sense uh, in, a, in a straight line to race me because I've got you know, them beat. But as soon as you put the turns in it, it's a different race. All the airplanes are equal. Well, this air kind of air racing is uh, not uh, free, easy, or cheap. It has its uh, dangers involved. Uh, there's a lot going on. It uh, requires uh, not just single or multitasking, but uh, you know, maybe uh, quadruple tasking, as I once heard, and I have to agree. Um, the you know side by side uh, passing, uh, flying behind airplanes that create uh, huge amounts of wake turbulence has an extreme danger, a lot of risk. When I'm in the chicane, I actually have to pull a little bit more G. I have to fly a, a harder course, um, the result of having to carry around the extra weight. Now, five, 600 pounds doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but it is a lot of weight when you're carrying four or five Gs around a corner, and you're doing that with an airplane that has the same wingspan as your competitors. So I have to work harder. I have to actually plan a different line. I have to be very extra cautious with wake turbulence. The, the weight, uh, increased uh, empty weight of this aircraft uh, puts me that much closer to stall speed. So I'm having to watch the airspeed, I'm having to watch the engine instruments, the competitor in front of me, my line, my airplane, all at once. And this, you know, is the future of air racing. It's going to be a NASCAR in the sky, if you say.